Hi guys, this is Mr. Tan and we are looking at um, marketing and financial management in the hospitality and tourism industry and we're still in week one and we are now on uh, lesson four, capturing value from customers. Um, the learning outcomes today are to explain the role of marketing in the tourism and hospitality sector, to identify the link between customer relationships and business performance and discuss the tools that can be used to make improvements to customer service in order to enhance customer relationships. And the session outcomes are to identify the link between customer relationships and business performance and to discuss how to enhance the customer relationships. We've been talking about it in the previous slides and now we're gonna go into a little bit more detail and I've mentioned before about the LTV, the lifetime value of the customer. So let, let's look at this, let's explore this. So we again, uh, we're talking about customer loyalty and you know, customer retention. You know, customer lo loyalty, according to Armstrong 2015, he states, is a measure of how likely customers are to return to an organization and of their own willingness to build relationships with the organization. Loyal customers are more valuable than satisfied customers. You know, loyal customers who return to the tourism and hospitality organization spread positive word of mouth and has the highest value. I mean, I can't stress the importance of, you know, word of mouth advertising. The body shop of, in the um, 1980s with Anita Robson, who started off the body shop in Carnaby Street, in Oxford Street. And she never did any advertising and it was pure natural products and it was all built on word of mouth advertising and it built her business up to a 30 million pound business. Absolutely amazing. You know, when we think about, again, customer loyalty and retention, we also have to think and go hand in hand with CRM, customer relationship management, which creates customer happy customers. <laughs> because it's all good and well saying that you want loyal customers and retention. You've got to keep them um, not only satisfied, but loyal. But you need to make sure as we looked at in the previous slides to go through the different stages in terms of you know giving financial rewards being building in the emotional or social side and then building in social and financial rewards for the customer to keep them loyal to keep them returning back to you so the benefits of customer loyalty are continued loyal customers using the company's products and services and this relates to reduced marketing costs decreased price sensitivity of those loyal customers according to Armstrong in 2015 and again um, I mentioned this um, time and time again the customer loyalty and retention in terms of the lifetime value to customer you know, it, this is the stream of profits a customer will create over the lifetime of his or her relationship with a business but it's more to it than that um, <laughs> the lifetime value is calculated by measuring how much a member of a market segment produces per year on average and multiplying his amount by the average life of a member of that segment Armstrong 2015 but it's more than that because um, there are additional research which states that if you were in a um, supermarket and a member of staff was to make you unhappy to such an extent where you don't go back well you don't go back and you give negative and bad word of mouth so the question is over 20 years if that's um, customer spends a hundred pounds a week which is 400 pounds a month uh, over uh, 20 years how much do you think that retail retailer would use do you think it is you know um, the 400 pounds per month times 12 times 20 well in fact it's not going to be that that amount it's going to be a hell of a lot more because um, that person will go in and spread bad word of mouth and if those other people have had bad experiences they will not shop in that place as well because there are so many other options in order to uh, shop at different places so it's actually worked out that if you dissatisfy one customer you could potentially lose over hundred and seventy five thousand pounds from making that one customer unhappy so it's extremely important to look after that uh, one customer and every customer and build relationships so we're talking about building customer equity. Customer equity is the you know, discounted lifetime values of all the company's current and potential customers. And a, you know, a tourism and hospitality organization builds customer equity by delivering products that create high customer satisfaction.
and have a high perceived value and you have to remember that those customers go on and if they're happy and they're satisfied and they keep coming back and using your product or services then they spread positive word of mouth how many times have we you know listened to our friends and family who've had great experiences and because they've had great experiences you know we for me personally it's enticed me to want to go out and try that restaurant or that holiday or that hotel because of the positive word of mouth I've experienced from that place so you know word of mouth advertising um, you know customer loyalty satisfied customers which is going to be built on how you developed and, and, and build those customers and how you develop your CRM customer relationship management systems in place and the investment put in place to look after these key customers because the more customers you have you're going to need the correct investment in hardware and software in order to manage this information so I hope this has helped today from Mr. Tan.